Okay guys, here's a skunk we got that was tearing everything up. You can tell by the condition of his tail there where he's missing all his hair. He wasn't a, he wasn't a very healthy skunk. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take advantage of him and I'm gonna milk his glands. We're going to milk him for the essence he possesses. I'm gonna try to get you in better focus here so you can actually see what's going on when I do this. Looks like about the best I'm gonna get it. Let me get my jar and we'll get underway. You want a glass jar that seals very tightly because this stuff does smell.
you can actually feel the gland inside. And it's a lot easier on a female skunk than a male skunk because his glands are located near his testicles. And uh, you definitely don't want to be squeezing on his testicles for no reason. You just want the glands. That's about all we're going to get out of this guy. He's pretty well empty. So, now we'll cap him back up. He's got rub marks all over his head. He's uh, not in very good shape. So. And when predators come to eat your poultry and do damage to your livestock, You really can't catch and relocate them because they find their way back. Plus, I don't have a lot of sympathy for the ones that come and raid me. Because there's a plenty of other things for them to eat here. As you can see, we have a, a whole bunch now. It'll settle down later. But for now, that's what we have. I really don't want to touch the camera with these gloves on. I'll come back and get you guys once I go dispose of this.
Okay, time to take off the gloves and we'll get on our way here in a second. I just need to grab a couple egg cartons and off we go. Load up the phone. All right, here we go. And here comes the hag. She's on her way. Yeah, well, farmers don't look good, honey. And you look just fine to me. One second, please. One second, dear. Trying to set you someplace, but it's really not working out. Okay, I'll put you guys there for it. Come on, Merv, get out of the way. Hey, King Henry. this out of the way. Alright, move out the way guys. Come on guys, you guys got eggs everywhere today. What's up with that?
Come on, Merv, you're a pain in the ass. Stay off from underneath my feet. Come on, Henry. Okay, Quail. It's about time for you guys to start laying again. So, uh, produce or become a food source. You got your choice. Okay, come on guys, move out my way. Kinda sad when the ducks listen better than the chickens do. Move, Merv. Okay, let's go pick up some eggs. Alright dudes. thing they don't tell you about fresh eggs is that when uh, when the chicken lays the egg it deposits bloom over the egg as it lays it and once you wash that egg the egg becomes porous once it becomes porous it allows air to flow in bacteria to flow in and all kinds of other things so when you collect your eggs if you don't wash them you can actually let them sit on your counter for four to five weeks easy without having to refrigerate them and the eggs are still good. I've done it many times. So we don't wash any of our eggs until we get ready to use them. And we only wash them if we're making hard boiled eggs. Otherwise, we just crack them open and eat them. We don't bother about we don't bother to wash the shell because there really is no need. Okay, now we're going in for another another carton of eggs. Thank you. 
Okay, off we go. Hey, kitty. Hi, my feral cat. Are you a friendly one or do you one that bites? No, you're a friendly one. Okay, you're cool. All right, there's a pet for you. Go catch something to eat. We're gonna walk down, get a bucket of water. I think we're gonna have to sell off some laying hens this year. Now that spring's coming, they're starting to overload me with eggs. I just got, uh, I just got four dozen eggs and that's a little much. I'm going to set you here while I get a bucket of water. I'm having a hard time seeing through the viewfinder, but uh, let's see. There's Ghostess and Gizmo. There's Melinda, the molester. And Nuckin was just up here. Let's see if she still is. Now, you can't really see her. She's buried in between the goats, so. There's sweet Madam Blue. Dog, come on, get down. That's the guardian dog. Half Marama, half Akbosh. She's actually really good at slaying coyotes and she's been in quite a few fights with koi dogs. I've had to sew her up a couple times, put sutures in her, and uh, she's never taken a day off work. Definitely can't complain about it. And there's Mr. Stinky. Right, Mr. Stinky? You're a weird one. Come on guys, are you going to move so I can... No, you're not going to. Okay, let's see if I can zoom this baby in or not. I can't really see with this readout what I'm doing. Probably the world. Wow, I'm all the way on that. I should be down here. Okay. Get down, dog. I should go way out there. But, uh, nothing is being thoroughly hidden by the herd over there, so. Oh, there she is. Had her there for a second until the dog got in the way and she took off. It's really hard to get her because she's very fast being a, a little goat. 
Hey Gizmo. What's up, Gizzy? Just enjoying the sunshine. Hey Melinda Linda. I hear that pheasant out there. Hey Linda Linda. Hey Giz. Come on Gizzy. You gonna come up here today or not? Piss on me? Okay. Hey Melinda. What's up Ghostess? You're so fat you don't even want to get up. You are like the world's fattest goat. You're probably be in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fattest, laziest goat ever created. You always look like you're pregnant. You don't do anything but eat and lay around. Okay, let's give uh, let's give one more look for Melinda, and if she's not here, we give up. I'm Melinda, duh, Nuckins. There she is. Can I get her? You're not eating the camera. Hey, knocking. Keep an eye out for Joshua. He's coming. I heard he's on his way. Be safe. You, Mr. Stinky, are a pain in the ass. Okay, out you go. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Oh, see that? The gate did not latch. There we go, gate's latched. Alright, let's water. And off we go. Well, we almost left. I promise you we'll leave this time. Oh, this is what uh, we used one year. It's a 55 gallon drum with a hose attachment. And uh, we would fill it with water. We would wrap it in black plastic and we would let the sun heat the water and then Hag and I would come out towards evening after a nice hot day and we would take a shower so that was pretty fun actually and as soon as I get the poultry watered I'll take you out and show you the storm damage, which I wasn't able to show last time. Okay, everybody move. Come on, guys. Everybody's got to move.
get the scoop all locked up here and we'll be on our way. Pretty soon we'll be able to turn these guys out. Pick up our water. Oh man, I need another pocket for the extra eggs. I'll just put them in my top pocket. Let's grab our eggs and we're on our way. There's another cat. Man, there's cats everywhere. They keep dropping off all these sparrow cats. I see four cats right now. One, two. There's another one, three. They're just everywhere. There's another one, five. cats everywhere. Okay, got to set you down for a minute. Another cat. One day I'll have to teach myself how to edit. Look at another one. Geez, they're everywhere. It's getting insane. Okay, here we go. in here. Man, I really hope this has been recording and it didn't just stop. This is a new camera I'm messing with. Well, actually, it's my wife's camera, so. It's Hag's camera. Okay, here's one of the trees that got blasted. There's a couple more trees. They're everywhere. I guess I'm gonna have to come out and break the chainsaw out and Clean this mess up. Here's another one. We have groundwater everywhere. Jeez. Okay, dog, I know you're here. Looks like we have a couple more trees over here that have fell. Sorry about the camera work. I am not used to this camera and I know it's a shitty job but man there's just wipe this place out another tree There's another tree. There's another tree. There's more. This looks like some type of wooden structure I've never seen back here before. Very strange. 
it seems to be some type of box with wire in it and now my eggs just dropped out of my pocket. Okay, dog. Well, you know what? You're a good dog here. Here you go, move, sweetie, move. Here's an egg for you. There's another egg for you. There you go, dear. There's a couple eggs. Since they fell out of my pocket, they now belong to you. That's some good nutrition. You should be happy with that. Okay, you finish your eggs. I'm gonna creep around some more. My pants are falling off. Oh no. This tree took out this whole panel of fence. Well, I'm gonna have to come out here and take care of that before the goats start climbing down it and escape. That branch doesn't seem to have, do, to have done too much damage to the fence. But it's a pretty hefty tree. Snap off. Let's go see what other damage was done here. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good too. Too bad it's going to be a whole bunch of labor for nothing. Because, <laughs> uh. Oh, the sun's killing me. The only thing I can really do with that is let the goats strip the young bark and eat it and the rest of it's just willow so it's not even good as a fire starter it's just junk oh look goat pellets how wonderful man's fire starters we're gonna have to get back on that project and uh finish up the fire starters too. Now that the goat shit is dried. <coughs> There's one of the greenhouses. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can. No. Too much sunlight. I can't even see what I'm looking at through this camera. There we go. There's the greenhouse. Comes off the side of the kennel. There we go. I had to zoom on like an idiot. No wonder I couldn't tell. But, okay, there's that. to the septic system because the people who put the septic in had no idea what they were doing as is the case with a lot of things here that's why everything's always in a constant state of repair and having to redo jobs that were improperly done in the first place And out we go. And 
the kitty cat is eating. And now I say kitty cat and it has to come by me, of course. Oh, there's a strange kitty. Let me see if I can capture that one. That cat actually intrigues me. It's a very strange looking cat. Not you, weirdo. You're a regular cat. I wanna, I wanna see that little baby thing. Maybe if I move real slow, it won't take off. No such luck. That thing intrigues me. It's a very strange looking cat. And I think with the strange cat, we're going to uh, end the video. Oh, maybe we should look at the other greenhouse while we're out here too. There's the other greenhouse tucked away right there. Okay, well, let's see. We can look at some more skulls quickly I think nothing might have some fun with those I'm gonna have to clean them up a little better though they uh, they need to be a little cleaner and exposed to the sun for a little bit more so on that I will end it and I will take these skulls up for rework Thanks for coming. Goodbye, y'all.
I think Nocturne might have some fun with those. I'm going to have to clean them up a little better, though. They are. Uh, they need to be a little cleaner and exposed to the sun for a little bit more. So on that, I'll end it and I'll take these skulls up for rework. Thanks for coming. Goodbye, y'all.